Hey there, you're watching Go Island, where we're talking about the upcoming municipal election. Aaron Vissia Financial Go Island is brought to you by Aaron Vissia Financial. Well, hello there. You are watching Go Island, and we are talking about the local municipal elections that are coming up in November. And even though nominations haven't opened, nomination packages are now available. And I'm here with Davina Hartwell, who's going to tell us everything we need to know about the upcoming elections. <laughs> Davina, how are you today? I'm good, thanks, Nancy. Excellent. Now, I mentioned in my opening that the nomination packages are available, but nominations haven't opened, have they? Uh, no, they have not. The nomination period doesn't start until September 30th. They'll be open 9 a.m. on September 30th and will close at 4 p.m. on October 10th. And what does the nomination package consist of? Um, it's a fairly bulky package this time. Um, it contains everything that a candidate would need to submit um, an official nomination. We've also included the new Local Election Campaign Finance Act, some general information about the city, and uh, you know, sort of any other useful information that we, we think might be relevant to a potential candidate. And speaking of useful information, there's an awful lot that candidates need to know or should know, and you're offering an information evening. Uh, yes, we are, in conjunction with um, the regional district, Russell Dyson, the chief election officer there, and I will host a, a joint session um, on September 11th at 7 p.m. at Echo Centre. So that will be the place for candidates to come out and um, ask any of their questions. And that evening we'll also have um, former councillors and regional board directors on hand to give their perspectives on what it means to be in municipal office or regional board office. Boy, I can't imagine anything more valuable for someone who is going to be hoping sure. to be on, on on council for the first time because there's so much that very often people just don't realize. They certainly don't realize how much time is involved. Yeah, no, that's true, Nancy. Um, a lot of people see our council meetings, of course, which are televised on Shaw um, every second Monday, but um, there's an awful lot more meetings um, than that, and I think we really need to let candidates know what it is they're letting themselves in for. Absolutely. Now, there's a lot more that we're going to talk about. And actually, I, sh I should, before I go to the next story, um, just because someone picks up a nomination package, that's not a commitment, is it? They can pick Absolutely it up and look not. through it. Yes, no, uh, nomination packages are available here at City Hall. And, um, yes, welcome to pick up anytime. Excellent. Now, we're going to find out a little bit more about those elections that are coming up, um, about the nomination period, about when and where you can vote. But first, of course, it's Go Island, so we've got a couple of stories for you. Well, welcome back. You are still watching Go Island. We are still talking about the local elections that are coming up in November, held across BC at the same time. And we were talking with Davina Hartwell about the nomination package, which is now available. When do nominations open and close? Uh, open at 9 a.m. on September the 30th, and they close at 4 p.m. on October the 10th. And when is the election itself? Saturday, November the 15th, 8 a.m. to 8 p.m. Excellent. And I do know that this year there are a few things that are different. Um, one is you're holding more advanced voting dates, am I correct? Um, same amount of advanced voting dates, but we are using different locations this ah, year. Good. So people should really be aware of that. So our, adv our first advanced voting is November 5th, and that will be here at City Hall, 8 a.m. to 8 p.m. Our second advanced vote is November 12th, and this year that will be at Echo Centre. And voting day this year is going to be at the Alberni Athletic Hall. So these are important changes to take note of. The information will all be available on the city web website? Yeah, everything is on the city website and we're sending out information regularly on social media as well. Excellent. Now there's also something else other than just voting and putting your exes beside names. Um, there are two referendum questions on this year's ballot. Um, there will be in the city of Port Alberni. One question is a non-binding question. It's a community opinion question about um, whether the community would support um, a 10th Avenue crossing of Roger Creek. The regional district question is an assent voting question and relates to Sprout Lake Marine Patrol. And as um, an electoral area member, the city of Port Alberni voters will be participating on that particular question. Excellent. Now I actually have um, Russell Dyson from the regional district standing by. He was trying to steal my microphone earlier, but we're, we're gonna catch him, put him on TV and talk about that question. The city question, though, is non-binding. That means it's just it's just an opinion poll for, for the yeah, city council. That's right. It's seeking um, the community's opinion on whether they think that um, that this crossing is a good idea, and that will help to guide um, 
future council strategic priorities depending on what the response to that question is. Very good. Davina, thank you so much for telling me about this. We're going to be hearing lots more from Davina in the days and weeks leading up to the election. Certainly as nominations open, we'll be um, following very closely what's happening and we'll keep you up to date with everything. Now, we're going to be talking to Russell Dyson from the Regional District in just a minute. But before we do that, we've got a couple more stories for you. Well, hello again. You are still watching Go Island. We are still talking municipal elections. And as, just as I promised, I've got Russell Dyson from the Regional District here. Russell, how are you today? I'm very well, thank you. Getting ready for the elections coming up in November. Absolutely. And there are two referendum questions. One, Davina was just telling us about regarding the city and a tenth a second crossing, um, but there is a regional district question as well. That's right. Uh, the uh, citizens of the Alberni Valley are going to be asked whether or not they want to formalize the Sprout Lake Marine Patrol. So it will be a question that city residents as well as Cherry Creek, Beaver Creek, Beaufort, Sprout Lake and the Uchukla set will all be voting on. And this is a binding referendum. That's right. This is binding. So uh, in order to establish the service and make it a little more permanent, uh, we're asking the citizens whether they want to participate in this and whether they will accept the costs of the service. Is there a dollar value worked out for that yet? Yep, we're working on that. Actually, tomorrow at the, uh, the regional district uh, board meeting, they will be uh, determining exactly what the question will be as well as the background information on that. And will people have advance notice of what the question is, what the wording is? Absolutely. After uh, Wednesday's meeting of the Regional District Board, we will be advertising the question, letting people know what it is, and staff at the Regional District will be there for information. Any questions that people have in advance of deciding, we'll be there to help them through that. Excellent. Russell, thank you so much. You're welcome. Um, lots of new stuff happening. One thing we didn't even mention is um, that's different with this this election is this municipal term is now four years so whoever is elected to office in this upcoming election will be sitting for four years as opposed to the three previously now we're almost at the end of the show but before i say goodbye we do have a few more stories for you Well, that does bring us to the end of another Go Island. It's been great getting kind of a head start on the information that's available for the upcoming municipal elections. There are voter guides available at City Hall, at the Regional District Office, all over social media, or you can go to the website of either the City or the ACRD. Until we meet again, be good to each other. Aaron Vissia Financial Go Island is brought to you by Aaron Vissia Financial. Supporting community and providing personalized advice and service to clients since 1996. Our team is ready to help you with your financial future.